Frank Drake's work was just incredibly pioneering. The fact that he could take this new idea about searching for life elsewhere and make it into reality that has still survived so many decades is huge. And that has been, I think, so inspiring for all astrobiologists, including me. All the times I interacted with Frank, he was just incredibly nice. He went even beyond what you expect from just a general colleague in the community. And just the fact that he's so famous and he'll just be nice like to another random scientist, that really impacted me. The Drake equation is really a way to illustrate, to illustratively explain the chance that there's intelligent civilizations um, in our galaxy. And it was so impactful when Frank Drake first wrote it because he was able to kind of articulate the different factors that might go into us wondering if there's life out there, if there's intelligent life that might be able to communicate with us. You know, you don't forget like all the great science fiction movies out there and people love to imagine aliens and many people believe that they are here. But just to sort of capture it in a very quantitative way um, was, was and is extremely helpful still. I took the Drake equation and repurposed it. I called it the revised Drake equation because Frank Drake's equation is for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence by using radio telescopes to listen for radio signals coming from hypothetical intelligent civilizations. I took it and repurposed it for a more recent kind of more visual astronomy based search for life. And in this search, we're actually finding exoplanets orbiting stars other than the sun. And we're trying to study their atmospheres. We don't yet have the technical capabilities to study small rocky planet atmospheres of the kind of planets that might host life. But it's the equations in the same spirit as the original Drake equation. What are the terms? How do we describe our search in terms of separating it out into the different variables that really impact whether or not we'll be able to find signs of life on another planet? Well, it's extremely busy and highly competitive. There's so many, probably too many people working in the field for the amount of data that we have available. Mm -hmm. But I can say something more positive that it's just incredibly exciting. I mean, the best and brightest astronomers seem to be flooding into the field of exoplanets. And we know we're going to do something big. <laughs>